Alliance Coalition, a coalition of approximately 25 community organizations who have worked for the successful establishment of a satellite campus at the former site of the beloved Bandy Camps Bakery in the Northeast. I'm a land use and environmental attorney with 25 years advising public entities, including community colleges, including accreditation issues involving ACC, JC, and Barbarina. <laughs> Let the record reflect that our letter, uh, dated July 15th, 2009, constituting four pages of analysis, including environmental analysis, is file stamped by your board secretary and received into the record. This letter also was faxed to you two hours ago. The Bandy Camps Coalition objects to the proposed actions of the LACCD to transfer the nearly completed $61 million Northeast Satellite Campus to the non-accredited administration of LACCD and then turn around and lease the greater portion of the campus to a private charter high school politically favored by the mayor. And we certainly understand why Larry Frank is here. They're ready to, they were ready to make millions of dollars investment into your campus for adult education. And now I guess they think that this is the best that they can get. But I question that. I think it's terrific that the mayor and his allies support the charter schools, but their support on Monday of this, war, uh, of this week is undermined by yesterday, Tuesday's announcement by the Obama administration that a new program targeting $12 billion of federal dollars to community colleges that have been struggling during this economic downturn to help provide funding to support efforts of these community colleges to expand training and retraining opportunities for adult students. I know one of the things I was thinking about in terms of how to present you today is to ask the question of, does this lease need to be five years? You are the deciders, in the words of George Bush. You can choose one year. And because maybe if 12 billion is in the pipeline one year from now, a decision to hand this away for five years may seem extremely ill-considered. I also want to emphasize that in our letter, we, um, we uh, reiterated the concerns uh, expressed in the letter of Scott Folsom, a well-respected education expert who raised a number of concerns about Prop 39 compliance, whether or not this review went through your bond oversight committee and other types of waiver issues. I'm not going to get into the details of that. I want to go to the environmental. I do not see on your agenda <coughs> This agenda does not say that you are going to consider any action at all regarding environmental review. I would suggest to you that your action today as the lead agency is really just one part of a series of environmental actions that you've taken over the years to develop this campus. And the leasing of this for five years would result in, an, uh, in an in, at least an indirect impact in the future, which significantly changes the traffic pattern at this location. Your own resolution suggests that up to 500 students will be arriving, and a high school has different traffic characteristics than a community college, because community college students tend to arrive throughout the day. High school arrives during the morning peak and departs at the afternoon peak. You, uh, apparently, no analysis has been done, and it's not on the agenda at all. And so, therefore, I would suggest that you today lack the legal authority under the both the Brown Act and under the California Environmental Quality Act to take an action since this is not supported by an adequate environmental analysis. The analysis, you've done a lot of analysis in terms of your EIRs and other things, but you've not looked at this significant land use change as part of your proposed action today. So on that basis, we would suggest that if you did vote today to take this action, that it could, and that all of your actions could be overturned by a reviewing court. I would suggest, what's the middle ground? What is the possibility? And I want to go back to that idea of one year lease for the charter school. The idea that, uh, I think that's a serious consideration that you should give, as opposed to handing off this extremely valuable and brand new campus that's intended for adult education. Um, to become a high school for a five-year period, you may be foreclosing yourselves in ways that you will regret later, and we would recommend a one-year lease and a true open and transparent process to look at creative ways, including following through on the Obama uh, administration's announcements, to find a more creative opportunity than the one placed by you in front of you by staff today.
Thank you so much for your time and attention. Thank you.